today, Kilroy goes off the shelf on Air War, Modern Tactical Air Combat. Now, why am I talking about Air War today? Well, I want to talk about complex games, or at least complex games in the 70s. This game was published by SPI in 1977. This edition was published as a second edition in 1979, and I believe it was part of one of the flat packs. I don't have a box for this. I traded for this like in middle school slash high school and did not get a box, because, and that leads me to believe it was part of the, maybe the flat pack series that didn't have all the different packaging. Now, Air War is complex, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to talk about it, was wanted to talk about complex games. In fact, even in the introduction here, it says, uh, in talking about, you know, mechanically complex or conceptually complex, it says Air War, however, is both mechanically and conceptually complex. The rules are extensive, long, intricate, and contain new concepts not often utilized in war games. Movement of aircraft occurs only after tremendous thought, manipulation of markers on the aircraft control charts, and execution of procedures. Therefore, Air War is a difficult game both to learn and to play. Wow, why would I even try to, to take this on? Um, talking about the complexity, the rules itself are... 48 pages long, triple column, densely packed, all about trying to simulate air combat, modern air combat. You also had aircraft, missile, and performance charts, another 56 pages. However, these are, you know, going into the different uh, aircraft and, and weapon components. Here you have the mo turn mode table, the acceleration table, the climb table, the dive table, the roll table, the loaded characteristics, the flight parameters, and this general basic information. All that for an aircraft. And you gotta keep track of all that. Oh, here, wait, there's more. Charts, tables, and aircraft missile performance charts. So you have more missile performance charts here in parts of the rules and a sequence of play. And this is another, you know, 16 pages long. They had rules of play and scenario. So additional rules. Oh my God, we can't get away from the rules here. And uh, had addenda. So we had some errata there possibly. And you had some more additional rules and then some specific scenarios that came in here. Uh, and it was all kind of kept track on these uh, aircraft missile control display. This is where you kept track of uh, through a bunch of counters on your different aspects of your aircraft, the movement, the acceleration, the altitude, the turning, the weapons, the, the uh, attitude, uh, all that was kept track on this, both for your airplane and, or your plane and for your weapon systems. You know, on the board, you had these, you know, simple small pieces of uh, hex, blue hexes that you put out on the table and your plane was basically a marker, but it could turn at every single indice. So you had all the different uh, turning aspects on the hex. You used, used all the different hexes, as you can see, all the different points on the hex. You also had counters to keep track of your missiles. Here you had uh, heat seeking and radar homing because you had to keep track of that once those were launched. And you had to keep track of their characteristics and fly them around as well. This was all done to simulate uh, modern air combat. And that, you know, at the time, this was you know, par for the course for games or war games. War games really kind of go into simulation, but it really wasn't very playable. It was very, very a lot of detail. You put a lot of time and effort into it and you can encapsulated maybe a few seconds of, t of actual real life time or, or maybe minutes of real life time. And so it didn't really focus on playability, which I think war games today really do focus more on playability or, or more of being a game this was more of a simulation. And in fact, this kind of got replaced by computer simulations. You know, a lot of the stuff that goes on here, you can do easier with a computer. And then so flight simulators and combat flight simulators really kind of took over this aspect of the gaming hobby. And this didn't get much uh, love or attention after that. You know, games that come out today, especially air games, you know, do focus more on playability. Uh, and trying to recreate the simulation factors of the aircraft, but do it in a more playable sense. So that's what I went off on the shelf today. Thank you.